Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to be sharing with you all my Gojira X Live Tones. Yes, I'm using the Neural DSP Quad Cortex and the Gojira plugin, the Gojira X compatibility with the Quad Cortex Live. So before I get into today's video, please support me in any way possible, okay? That is, follow me on any sort of streaming service platform, subscribe to this channel, like, share, comment, all the YouTube stuff, follow me on any sort of social media platform. I really sincerely appreciate you. Thank you so much for all your support. So let's talk about the Gojira X and my live tone. So as you can see, it says here, Elijah 2024. The last tour that I got off my fourth tour of the year was my third tour with Elijah here in 2024 and we were using the Gojira X plugin for the tones for the direct support slot that we were on on the Point North tour. And our results as a band, as a collective were great. <laughs> And last but not least, I am so honored to say that this video is in fact sponsored by Neural DSP, as they're asking me to share my thoughts and my findings with the Gojira X and how it works and how it fits with the Quad Cortex. It's an absolute honor to work with Neural DSP again. Love that company so much, and they are absolutely killing the game. And just you know, they they are the plug-in company and the digital company anymore, especially as it pertains to guitar tone. So yeah, sponsored by Neural DSP. But all I got to do is just do my usual thing, riff, jam, hang out with you guys, and just share my honest opinions, okay? So the routing with the Gojira X and how we were using the Quad Cortex was basically we were just going right to front of house as well as going through our own in-ear mix, our own in-ear rack, and then having our tones in our ears. There's no cabs on stage, no external power amp or anything like that. Basically, front of house and in <laughs> If we take a look at my signal flow here, how I was using the Gojira X Live, it's as follows. My signal chain is just a regular old utility noise gate from the plugin. Then we have a transpose block and there's one song called Easy to Drown on the Elijah Tour where it was tuned down a half step from drop C to drop B. All my guitars were in drop C with the exception of one. And so yeah, just one song was just pitched down a half step. Then we have the Gojira Octave and we were using this for the double drop function. Um, there's a couple songs like Hostage and Human that are double dropped, meaning pitched a whole octave down for like some serious heavy breakdowns and stuff like that. Um, rather than using the transpose knob, we were using the octave function. And we found as a collective that the octave sound was way better and just cleaner and just, yeah, just better for lack of a better description. We enjoyed those tones more than we actually enjoyed the transpose knob going down all the way up. Then we have the overdrive block. I've been using the overdrive block here at home, but live it was off. But again, I wasn't the PM. I wasn't the one designing the tones here. That was somebody else. I personally like the overdrive on any sort of, you know, signal flow, signal chain. It just tightens it up. Then we have the Gojira amp. We're using the hot amp. 
and then we're using Gajira Cab 3. Last but not least, we've just got a basic high pass, give or take at 80 hertz, just to clean up any sort of low end rumble. And that was predominantly my rhythm tone. <laughs> Then down below, we've got a different signal chain here. I had a clean section in a song called Harder to Lie. I started that song out, me and Elijah, so I had the clean amp and then cab one. Then we also had the doubler effect on there as well. Then we had the Gojira delay and Gojira reverb. So that's my signal flow and that's how I was using the Gojira X. But talking about the high gain tones, cause that's predominantly what I'm known for and what you all focus on here on my channel and you know whether it's my original music live tones or just demos you know with products and stuff like that high gain is where i'm at right so i sincerely love the high gain tones that you can get with the gojira x compatibility in the quad core tones <laughs> I noticed every single night as well as coming home that the Gojira X is tuned pretty um, gnarly sounding with a lot of attack and a lot of cut and a lot of high end and a little bit of shrillness perhaps. But that makes sense because not only does it have to cut through in the mix in your ears, but also it has to cut through in the mix in a room with a giant loud PA. Especially as it pertains to guitar in a live setting, you do not want any real low end in my opinion. Low end is for like all the 808 drops, the bass, the kick, like guitars really serve no purpose at all, especially in a live setting. It'll just get lost and it'll just get incredibly muddy. So having a lot of snarl and high end and like I said, almost like shrillness and like piercingness may not sound the most pleasing in a like isolated setting, especially at home. But for a live setting, trust me, it makes sense. It just cuts through that much better. And just so we're incredibly clear on how to get the actual X plugins, basically you have a bunch of different, you know, blocks and such whenever you have the quad cortex. But if you go to the plug, the plugin, you know, uh, icon there, basically that's where you have all of your different effects that you can use inside the quad cortex. So yeah, everybody. Now, honestly, what do I like better? Do I like the stock sounds like the 5150 or like, I don't know, the diesel or whatever inside the quad cortex, or do I actually like the Neural DSP Gojira X plugin better? Honestly, right now, if I had to choose, I would definitely choose the Gojira. And that is not because I'm making this video, but that is because I have give or take 40 shows this year with using the stock regular amp tones and then having a full tour with the Gojira X. I have a lot of like A and B and R and D on my own. And honestly, the Gojiras just sound gnarlier, heavier, clearer, and they just cut. Like I said before, they just cut so much better compared to the stock tones that I was personally running. Now you can obviously tweak and run and choose a bunch of different effects and blocks and you can make anything sound a certain way. Sure. But Having one tour completely dedicated to Gojira X and th uh, three tours dedicated to the stock tones that I use, one with FTFD and then two with Elijah, the Gojira, in my opinion, is definitely better. Now, actually, I'm leaving give or take a week from today to go on another tour with Tommy Vex, and I would definitely use the Gojira tones for that tour as well. So if you guys come out to a show on the Tommy Vex tour, I'll be using the Gojira and I'll be using my Quad Cortex, okay? 
So, that's the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out to Neural DSP for sponsoring this video and allowing me to do this video. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to work together again in the future. A huge shout out to you, the viewer. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me in any and every endeavor that I'm a part of. It means a lot. With that being said, everybody, I'll see you guys in the video very, very soon. Later.